Welcome back everybody. Chad Ferguson here at CatfishEdge.com and this is Drift Fishing for Catfish Basics. There's a lot of different ways that you can drift fish for catfish and a lot of people call it different names based on technique and even region but it really all kind of boils down to the same thing. Drift fishing in its most basic form is allowing the wind to move the boat across the water with a drift sock out and dragging baits across the bottom. So I'm going to show you the basics of drift fishing for catfish in this video. So what I'm doing is I drove through this area, fish are kind of scattered out today and um, I found fish just kind of scattered all through this area. We came through here, we made a drift, we had a couple of real good takedowns with some big fish had a couple come off, landed one, and now we've come back through, we're gonna drift back through here again. So I've just pulled in, thrown a drift sock out, I've got tied right in the middle of the boat, and wind's not blowing very hard today, we're just gonna allow the wind to just kinda of move us real slowly back through where I marked these fish. That's rule number one, make sure you've got a good drift sock so you can slow your boat down, keep the side of the boat into the wind, Rule number two is make sure you got a good drift sock to keep the boat slow. Now I know I said that in rule number one, but speed is key when you're drift fishing for catfish. If you drift too fast, you're not gonna catch fish. The colder the water is, the slower you need to go. Now, what I'm fishing with here, this is my Chad Ferguson Signature Series Catfish Rod from Whisker Seeker Tackle. I've got this rigged with one of the uh, Whisker Seeker X3 Rattlers. I've also got some Santee rigs on and I've just kind of mixed those in and I'm fishing with cut shad and uh, using just kind of various size baits. I've got some baits like this and then some really big baits that we're throwing out there. So what I'm doing, I got a couple rods in the water here and I'm just going to kind of spread these baits down the side of the boat. I'm going to put about five or six rods out and uh, see if uh, we can't catch a couple of fish. It's very important to make sure when you're fishing like this that you're fishing in an area that's actually holding fish. One of the things that people really uh, do wrong or the mistake they make when they're drift fishing is they just kind of go out and they pick a spot and they start drifting. Now, there's great debates all the time between catfish anglers about drifting and fishing on anchor and which one's better and which one's more productive. And I'll tell you that I catch a lot of fish drift fishing. There's not, not the only thing I do. I like to fish on anchor. I like to control drift with the trolling motor. There's all kinds of things and techniques that I use, but drift fishing is a very productive way to uh, catch catfish and you can cover a lot of water. But make sure if you're gonna drift fish that you just don't go out and pick a place that you think looks good and start drifting. You want to, I call that drifting blind. You want to make sure that you find an area where you are marking fish, you've got active feeding fish, and that you're drifting through those fish and not just drifting in dead water. You should be having activity relatively quickly when you start fishing. If you're using big baits like I'm using today, you should have little fish pecking at them, big fish coming at them, all sorts of uh, activity going on. So what I've done now, I've got six rods out, just kind of spread out up and down the boat. I've staggered these lines a little bit, so every other line I've got out a little bit further than the one next to it. So I have a short, a long, a short, a long. That kind of prevents uh, some of the tangles or, or helps to reduce some of the tangles when a fish hits run sideways. Now, I talk a lot about high visibility fishing line. I'm using uh, Strin catfish monofilament right now in orange. Really stands out and pops real well against the water so you can see it. And that's one thing I suggest if you're going to fish like this and drift fish for catfish to make sure 
that you use a good high visibility line, especially if you're gonna fish for blue cats. You can use these techniques for fishing for channels, blues, all different species of catfish, not flatheads so much, but I do catch some flatheads drift fishing. But if you're gonna fish for blue catfish, especially bigger blue catfish and drift fish, that high visibility fishing line really helps. I would say that probably 75% of the big blue cats that we catch, if not more, never move the tip of the fishing rod. Just all of a sudden, you'll see that the line's moved off to the side and just kind of gotten cockeyed all of a sudden, or it'll go slack where the fish are running at you. And uh, if you don't have good high visibility fishing line that you can see moving around real well, you're gonna miss a lot of fish. fish the boat. So that's the basics of drift fishing for catfish. Up, 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 to go out and be successful uh -huh. using these techniques fishing for catfish. Now you can go right. over to catfishedge.com or just click the link in this video and you'll find drift fishing for catfish. And uh, that's about it. That's the basics of drift fishing. To get more tips, tricks, and information oh, for fishing for catfish, one, he? head over to catfishedge.com. Until next time, I'm Chad Ferguson. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Huh? That rod ain't gonna break. What's wrong with you? Huh? Oh God. You act like you never caught a big catfish before. Go. Man, that's a surefire mess right there. Man.